Hello everyone, my name is David. Today we are going to take a look at another horrible case with you. In all of our lives, there are some people whose faces and behavior make it seem like they love us deeply, but in reality their hearts are filled with hatred for us. And in today's case, something similar happens, where Anjana from Nepal was ultimately killed by the person she trusted the most. Anjana Lama was born on August 26, 1995, in the city of Hatauda, Nepal, known for its religious sites and green parks. Besides her parents, Anjana's family included two younger sisters and a younger brother. Her entire family had a very friendly and cheerful nature, and they were always joking and laughing with each other. From the time Anjana was born, she was adored by her parents, and growing up with so much love, Anjana became an open-hearted girl even as she grew older. This is why she never had any difficulty making friends from school through adulthood. When Anjana was in 11th grade, she met a boy named Prajwal Mahat. Anjana and Prajwal shared a strong connection because Prajwal was a very charming guy who treated everyone with love and kindness. They became good friends in school and they both enjoyed spending time together. In fact, Anjana really liked Prajwal's nature, and Prajwal was equally fond of Anjana's cheerful personality. As they spent most of their time together during the day, their friendship soon turned into love after school. From the very beginning, their relationship was wonderful, and they always had a great understanding between them. Because of this, just two years into their relationship, they decided to get married. However, when they told their families about it, both sets of parents were strongly opposed to the marriage. The main issue was that Anjana and Prajwal came from different castes and they knew their families would have a hard time accepting their relationship. Despite their efforts to convince their families, the parents refused to give their blessing for the marriage. Left with no other option, Anjana and Prajwal decided to elope and get married. Although Prajwal and Anjana's families were extremely upset about their decision to elope, Prajwal's brother, Ujwal Mahat, was the only one who supported their relationship. Now, Prajwal and Anjana were living in a rented house, and Ujwal was helping them to make their life easier. However, Ujwal wanted his brother, Prajwal, and sister-in-law, Anjana, to return and live with their family, and he made a lot of efforts to convince their parents. Prajwal's family lived in a city called Lalitpur, which was 70 miles away from Hetauda city. In addition to Prajwal's parents, his family also included his elder brother Ujwal, Ujwal's wife, and their son. One day, Ujwal brought his younger brother Prajwal and sister-in-law Anjana home with him. Although Prajwal's parents didn't give them a very warm welcome as they hadn't yet accepted their marriage, they eventually warmed up to Anjana due to her soft-spoken nature and good behavior. Over time, Prajwal's parents accepted her. However, Anjana's own family still hadn't accepted her marriage. On the other hand, Anjana quickly became a part of the Mahat family. To stay in contact with her parents, Anjana invited her younger brother to live with her in Lalitpur. She had already made arrangements for his education and living expenses. Now, in Anjana's in-law's house, her mother-in-law, father-in-law, husband Prajwal, and brother-in-law Ujwal and his wife all went to work. As a result, the house was mostly empty during the day. After their wedding, Prajwal had also landed a good job with a reputable company, holding a high position. Since Anjana would get bored staying home alone all day, she thought about opening a beauty salon. When she discussed this idea with her husband and in-laws, None of them objected. In fact, Prajwal's parents even supported Anjana financially. Now, Anjana and Prajwal's lives had become much easier. Where initially Prajwal's family hadn't even accepted the marriage, they were now supporting Anjana's professional decisions as well. As time passed, Anjana's family also came to accept the marriage, seeing how happy their daughter was with her husband Prajwal in her in-law's home. Because of this, both families began to meet and interact more positively. Whenever there was a festival, both families would celebrate it together. During this time, Anjana's siblings and Prajwal became very good friends, and Prajwal would also go with them on trips to different places. 
Speaking of Ujwal's personality, he was a very joyful person who constantly cracked jokes to keep those around him happy. Because of this, everyone enjoyed spending time with him and going out with him. Ujwal's career as a sound engineer was well established and he had even worked on one of Nepal's famous songs, Saili. However, due to hearing problem, Ujwal had to leave that job and after that, he started working a regular office job. Not being able to pursue his passion made him a little sad, but he soon moved on to the next phase of his life. Meanwhile, everything was going well for Anjana as well and she was living a good life with her in-laws. Despite doing housework and going to the salon, she still had a lot of free time during the day. Around this time in 2019, TikTok was gaining massive popularity in Nepal. So Anjana thought about making videos on TikTok too, and she felt she might even become famous there. Surprisingly, after posting videos for a while, many of her videos went viral. In a short amount of time, Anjana gained a decent number of followers, and as a result, she started receiving modeling offers. Anjana had an interest in modeling, but before accepting the offers, she asked her husband and in-laws for permission. Her in-laws supported her and gave her the green light to pursue modeling. So now, Anjana was earning a decent amount of money from her salon and modeling career, which had significantly improved their financial situation. In addition, Anjana's husband, Prajwal, was also earning good money from his work. This led both Prajwal and Anjana to think that they should move to Canada for better opportunities in the future. Initially, they were hesitant to talk to their parents, but when Prajwal and Anjana spoke to Prajwal's parents, they didn't object to the idea of them moving to Canada. In fact, Prajwal's father even started saving money to help them with the move. By 2019, Prajwal and Anjana had been married for two years and Anjana had stopped working at her salon because she was now earning a lot from modeling. However, Ujwal and his wife were not happy with Prajwal and Anjana's decision to move to Canada. It's worth noting that Ujwal's wife didn't like Anjana at all and she would constantly badmouth her in front of their in-laws. She even started to turn Ujwal against Anjana. Because of this, the atmosphere in the house began to deteriorate once again. Anjana tried to explain the situation to her family, but her parents told her, This is a very small issue and you shouldn't let it ruin the family atmosphere. Anyway, you both will be moving to Canada in a few months, and after that it won't matter what Ujwal's wife thinks of you. At this point, Anjana, listening to her parents, didn't make a big issue out of this incident, but she could never have imagined in her wildest dreams what was about to happen next. Now, the date is May 9, 2019, and at around 3 p.m., Anjana's mother-in-law called her mother. In a panicked voice, Anjana's mother-in-law said that a major tragedy had occurred in their home and that they should come to Lalitpur immediately. But when Anjana's mother asked what had happened, she didn't say much and quickly hung up the call. This left Anjana's family in a state of panic, and they immediately called Anjana's husband, Prajwal. However, Prajwal didn't tell them anything either and simply requested that they come to Lalitpur as soon as possible. As I mentioned before, Lalitpur is about 70 miles from Hetuda, and covering this distance typically takes around four and a half hours. But that day, the traffic was so heavy that it took Anjana's parents over seven hours to reach Lalitpur. Around 10 p.m., Anjana's family arrived outside Prajwal's house and saw a large crowd gathered there. Even the police were present and seeing all this made them even more frightened. But as soon as they entered the house, they saw Anjana's younger brother, who had been living with her for some time, sitting on the floor, crying uncontrollably. After this, a police officer asked Anjana's father to accompany him inside Anjana's room. As soon as the officer opened the door to her room, the ground seemed to slip away from beneath Anjana's father's feet. The horrifying sight inside the room made him lose all courage to enter, and he immediately stepped out. On the bed inside the room were pieces of Anjana's body. Her left arm and left leg had been severed and were lying on the floor, and her entire body was covered with deep cuts made by a sharp weapon. 
Her lower body had been separated from her upper body, and her head was nearly detached from her torso. You can imagine how a father could not bear to witness such a painful death of his daughter, which is why Anjana's father rushed out of the room. Once outside, he informed the entire family that Anjana was no longer in this world. As soon as Anjana's family heard this, they were all in shock. When Anjana's mother regained a little composure, she told the police, Arrest everyone present in this house because they all conspired to kill my daughter. But before Anjana's mother could say anything more, the police told her something shocking. The police revealed we don't need to arrest anyone because the real killer had already surrendered. But you would be shocked to know that Anjana's killer was none other than her brother-in-law, Ujwal. This was the same Ujwal whom Anjana considered a good friend, and the same Ujwal who had helped arrange Anjana and Prajwal's marriage. That's why no one could believe that Ujwal would do something like this to his sister-in-law, Anjana. Additionally, the police informed Anjana's parents that her in-laws didn't want to call them. But later, after the police convinced them, Anjana's mother-in-law called Anjana's mom and asked her to come to Lalitpur. After hearing all this, Anjana's parents requested the police to arrest not just Ujwal but also his wife because Anjana had told them everything about the bad behavior of Ujwal's wife. In fact, they felt that Ujwal's wife had just as much involvement in killing Anjana. After all, it was Ujwal's wife who had been badmouthing Anjana for a long time. But the police couldn't arrest Ujwal's wife because Ujwal himself told them, Whatever I did, I did it alone, and no one else is involved in this murder. Furthermore, Anjana's post-mortem report revealed that she was killed around 1.30 p.m. using a Nepali kukri. In fact, a kukri is a tool that is mostly used by butchers in Nepal to cut meat. Additionally, Ujwal provided the police with detailed information about the murder of Anjana. According to Ujwal's statement, on May 9, 2019, his younger brother Prajwal had already left for work after having breakfast. At that time, only Anjana, her mother-in-law, and Ujwal were left in the house. Meanwhile, Anjana stepped out for a short time to get some things from a grocery store. However, she couldn't find what she was looking for, and during this time, Ujwal was watching her from the balcony of their house. As soon as Anjana returned home, she went straight to her room, lay down, and became busy on her phone. Although Anjana usually locked her room door from the inside, but that day she forgot to do so. Taking advantage of this, Ujwal grabbed a large kukri from the kitchen and went into Anjana's room. He then began to brutally attack Anjana with the kukri. When Ujwal was attacking her, Anjana tried to stop him with her left hand, but the kukri was so sharp that her entire arm was severed and fell to the ground. After that, Ujwal started to strike her on the head, but this time Anjana attempted to push him away with her legs. However, Ujwal was so consumed by bloodlust that he had completely lost his senses. By this time, Anjana had already sustained multiple knife wounds all over her body, and her hand had also been severed. Due to excessive blood loss, she had lost consciousness. However, Ujwal had already made up his mind that he would kill Anjana that day. Therefore, while she was unconscious, he delivered 20 to 25 continuous blows to her neck, causing Anjana's head to almost be severed from her torso. We have seen photos of the crime scene in this case, but they are so horrifying that we cannot show them in this video. However, it's hard to believe that Ujwal was such a deranged person that even after killing Anjana, he felt no remorse. Afterward, covered in blood on his face and clothes, Ujwal went to his mother's room, sat beside her, and revealed that he had murdered Anjana. After hearing this entire story, the police asked Ujwal, How did you come to hate Anjana so much that you gave her such a painful death? Ujwal then told the police that he did not like Anjana's frank behavior and how openly she communicated. But when Anjana started making videos on TikTok and later chose modeling as her career, Ujwal's hatred for her grew even more. However, his anger erupted when he learned that Anjana and her brother Prajwal wanted to move to Canada. 
In fact, Ujwal felt that Anjana must have forced Prajwal to leave Nepal and move to Canada. Additionally, Ujwal began to feel that Anjana wanted to separate her husband, Prajwal, from his family. While thinking about all these things, Ujwal made a plan to kill Anjana. Ujwal had now confessed his crime to the police, and they had recovered the kukri from the crime scene with which Ujwal had killed Anjana. The police collected all the evidence from the crime scene, recorded statements from witnesses and the victim's family, and then presented all this in court. Although all these things were proving Ujwal's guilt, his parents were trying to hire the best lawyer in Nepal with money to save their son. Because of this, the case lasted in court for a full two years, and Anjana's grieving parents had to attend every court hearing continuously for those two years. But finally, two years after Anjana's murder, justice was served, and the court sentenced Ujwal to life imprisonment. However, Ujwal's parents still did not want their criminal son to go to prison for life. Therefore, a few months ago, they appealed to a higher court to reopen the case. This time, they tried to prove that Ujwal was not in a sound mental state when he murdered Anjana. But this time, Prajwal himself testified in court that Ujwal's mental state was perfectly fine. For this reason, Ujwal's parents lost the case again, and his sentence remained unchanged. Additionally, Prajwal mentioned that he never thought Ujwal would harbor such hatred for, for Anjana. In fact, he was completely unaware of his brother's true intentions because Ujwal and Anjana always acted like good friends at home. However, after all this happened, Prajwal leaves his home and parents to move to Canada. So far, we have discussed many murder cases on the David True Crime and David Real Stories channels. But in cases where a killer brutally murders their victim, it becomes very difficult to imagine what the victim's family must have gone through during that painful moment. So with that, the Anjana Lama Mahat murder case comes to an end right here. Alongside this, we've also talked about another such tragic case, which you can listen to by tapping on the video displayed on your screen. If you appreciate our efforts, like and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Thank you.